Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj, no nonsense strength training. So here I am uh, into a deep squat position. This is something I have started adding recently. Last, uh, sorry, in the month of January and February, I had a coach uh, and I, I was learning Olympic weightlifting. I didn't end up learning to become a very good Olympic weightlifter, but I did learn to new ways of warm-ups. And warm-ups are very important. So one of the things I have been doing recently is to be in a squat position, a deep squat position and be static. The video doesn't have all of it because it'll be very boring otherwise. And then uh, if time allows, mostly if time allows, I actually do a set or two with bar only, just 20 kgs. And as you know, my effort recently has been to make sure that I go into a proper depth. I was cheating a little bit every now and then and hence why some light squats. And uh, I give a lot of importance to my warm-ups. Warm-ups are key for me. To me, they are preparation. And I believe that not just squats, not just going to the gym, in life, every action that you are performing is a preparation to something else in the future. But without getting too deep and philosophical, I uh, love my warm-up process more than my actual work sets. And at one point, my warm-ups do get a little bit heavy and in my mind, I call them build-up sets, which means they're almost as good as a work set. So yes, I, I do believe that warm up are the key especially if it's squats and compound lifts. If you are going to do something such as a lat pull down or a bicep curl, not so much. A compound lift because it involves your entire body, including your nervous system, it demands and it deserves a proper warm up. Uh, this workout, I think I went up all the way to 170 kg, so did go a little bit heavier. Uh, 170 kg is heavy for me, 170, 180, maybe 190, 160 to 150 is a medium weight and sorry, 140 also is medium weight and anything from 110 to 130, 125 is lightweight and I am in a, in a stage where I'm doing more light and medium but every now and then I do challenge myself with a tiny bit of heavy weight and that is auto-regulation. As I feel how I feel hours before the workout, a day before the workout, it gets logged into my computer brain as an algorithm and I decide. It is a very natural process. There is nothing technical about it. Auto-regulation is perhaps the way that we do many things anyway. And uh, one key factor for auto-regulation is that you have to have enough experience in lifting or for that matter, anything that you're trying to auto-regulate because you have a, a ample amount of information, data or experience, you can start making decisions and they happen very organically and naturally. It is not as technical as I'm saying. When you explain things to someone, they receive it and for them it is a lot of information and technical. But when they start doing it, it is much simpler. I think the action part of us, the doing part of us is more simple, but it is also important to understand what is going on. So this, this is 130 kg first set, pretty sure. I have to find out the labels and my workout. I'm just doing it freestyling. So here it is. Let's have a look into my depth. It's very important. Yes, I'm happy with that. No, that was still a warm-up set. So yes, guys, let me know if you have any particular way, any peculiar way of the warm-ups that you do. Do you do warm-ups at all? I have seen many guys, not that I want to see, but I will see someone walk into the gym and next minute they're on the bench press with easily 60 kgs as their first warm-up set. Anyway, that's my first work set, 130 kg, nice yellow plates. You'll notice at the bottom, my knees are nice and wide out. That has been, that is one of my 
key points of performance, my key points of form. I like to push them out, shove them out, basically, as in the words of Mark Ripto, as early as possible in my descent. I shove them out. And in doing that, I am going for something which is kind of a bounce when I reach at the bottom. By doing that, the femur has a certain trajectory. And in that, my adductors or my abductors are used very well. 130 kg, set one. Yeah, these, these are the weights I can do quite quickly. Like, I don't have to reset so much up the top and bang, bang, I go. So yeah, let me know what is lightweight for you when it comes to strength training, when it comes to lifting. Weights are very relative to whatever stage of training you are at, how experienced you are. What is light for you? What is medium for you? And what is heavy for you? I do things every now and then the squats that I do, somebody is perhaps doing a bench press of that weight. It's possible. 140 kg, that's pretty good. Nice, good ascent. Yes, I'm sure uh, my heavy weight, which is 180, 190 kg, some champion power lifter is doing a bench press of that. So it's all in, in uh, it's all relative. But the elation, the happiness and the excitement that comes from whatever that is heavy for you, whatever that means achievement for you is special and unique. Uh, I have seen a video of uh, the famous American powerlifter. Um, uh, his name is Skipping. He has, he does not have his own channel, I don't think, but he has been interviewed many times. And uh, somebody asked him in the comments, how did it feel to do some crazy weight, I think 700 pounds squats. And then this champion powerlifter asked, what is your PR and what did it feel like? And the guy answered, felt like so and so. And the champion powerlifter said, that's how it felt like. So he was able to connect with this random person on the YouTube that whatever I do is special and whatever you do is also equally special. It doesn't matter what the weight on the bar is. What matters is that you have achieved something. And I constantly give this message to my clients, my friends, those who are into training or any kind of training. Your achievement, whatever you achieve today, is special to you. One of the things that you can do to really uh, spoil that joy is to compare with someone because you can always find a comparison better than you or worse than you. There's no point playing that game. Focus on yourself. Focus on your form, on your own journey. And your achievement is always special because you are on a journey. Here we go. 170 kg. Not bad. I'm happy with the ascent. It's very important for me that it keeps moving. The bar slowed down a little bit. So yeah, uh, 170 kg, fifth set, and it was a double as you can see. And a double is a very good middle ground. If I, done, if I did a set of, uh, let's say, five with 170 kg, I would be able to do it. But my next back off set will be affected, obviously. And maybe my next day or my next day of lifting, which could be within uh, a day, depending on what split I'm doing. So I had to be careful. But also, there is something that I have said a number of times to my clients in one way to make them understand is when you are trying to, let's say, get strong, you are trying to do that by lifting mostly heavy. When you are lifting heavy, you say to yourself, I'm exposing myself to this stress. And that is the best way of getting strong, by exposing yourself to that. So let's say I am trying to all right, here we go, back offset. Let's say that I'm trying to reach to 200 kg, which I am, as you know, I'm on my journey to 200 kg squat. I will make sure that I expose myself numbers very close to it without fatiguing myself too much, without crashing too much, without compromising with my form. So 170 kg, 180 kg, 
exposing myself expose yourself to that stress is the key message jump into that fire the fire that the furnace that you want to avoid and the fire and the furnace here is a metaphor for the stress whether it is riding a bike motorbike or sorry a push bike for you or whether swimming a certain distance whether running a certain distance or in this case lifting squats 110 kg so guys i hope you enjoying these installments of my light and heavy squats in order to create the habit of my form to go deeper in my depth and also to expose myself to light and medium squats regularly and then plan for a big lift in the future this has been a wonderful journey where uh, i have to go a little bit lighter and not think that i am getting weaker it is not so 110 last set I'm going a bit forward there need to push the knees out i think that's better yes so there you go guys if you like the video please subscribe and like and comment and i'll keep bringing you more of such installments and i really hope one day we'll make a video of me doing 200 kg until then see you next time